I'm B. Robert too. I gotta finish my Velveeta cheese. <laughs> Hello ladies, this is Still Looking Good, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is this hair. And let me let you take a close look at it. Yep, see, that's HD Lace. That's exactly what that is. That's HD Lace. And this is a wig from Wow Ebony that I purchased. It is 12 inches long, 180% um, density, and we're going to talk, talk about that. Natural color, the HD Lace. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, it's a body weight. Yeah. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about this wig. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures of the, um, box that it came in and some of the items that, uh, they gave me in the box. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole install thing because if you guys want to see that, I can put an install of another human hair wig that I did up there. It just takes so much time to do those. And there are so many people that are on the internet doing those. I can certainly refer you to somebody who does them really well. I think I mentioned to you before, Natural Joy does them really well, and so does Dominique A. There's no sense in me doing it because I'm telling you they do it much better. So let me just tell you what I did. Um, once the hair came, and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like. It actually had a lot of curls in it. I mean, tight curls. When I washed this hair and tried to attempt to recurl it, this is what happened. I mean, it's nice hair, but uh, it does not hold the curl. And it could be the fact that maybe I didn't have the right product. Excuse me. I probably didn't have the right product, or um, I know that I kept the, the curl and iron in the hair long enough because it was on 400. And I held it there and just counted, you know, but it didn't work. So the curls are not as tight as they were. I'm going to see what I can do about finding some kind of product that works better. Um, I also used. Um, Let's see, I use this. This is Glam Force, and I use this to hold it down in the front and on the sides just a little bit, spray on really closely with a um, dryer. Uh, I also use this, which is uh, Luster's Renutrients Slick Stick, and this particular slick stick, I just got at the beauty supply store, supply store, and I just kind of rub it on the sides, and then I use my, <clears throat> my Andis um, hot comb. Let's talk about this for a minute. There is another hot comb that I saw. This one's like $35 on Amazon. I found one at the beauty supply store for $14. And I believe Dominique A uses that one and she slays here all the time. You don't need to spend $35 on this, but I did. Um, I like it. What I don't like about it is that this thing is in the way. And when you touch it, of course, you're going to get burnt. But you need this to hold it on, you know, to put it onto the table so it doesn't burn your surface. So anyway, this is the Andis Hot Comb, and this is what I use. Um, my curling iron is just a basic curling iron. This is a Conair Infinity curling iron. It's one inch. Um, it may, my this hair may benefit from a bigger, you know, jumbo size or something, but this is what I use. And I also use this Fructis. Um, I put this on the hair to protect it from the heat um, while I was styling it. So um, that's basically what I did. Uh, I didn't do baby hairs because as you can see, if you've got a hairline like this, trust me, you don't need any baby hairs. And that's what I really love about HD Lace. You do not need any baby hairs. Um, I am going to uh, show you something. Let me just put my drink down. Excuse me, this is my Arnold Palmer, and I love Arnold Palmer. And those of you who are from the old school, you know, Arnold Palmer used to be a golfer, and they named the drink after him because it's a mixture of tea and lemonade. Okay, so what I want to show you is this. This is transparent lace. This is HD lace. So look. Okay, so here's the transparent lace in front of my face. Here is the HD lace in front of my face. Next to each other, they really don't look much different, but trust me. There's a big difference and see, you can tell. So with this HD lace on your head, as opposed to this transparent lace, it's, it seems to be that it's made in such a way that whatever your skin color is, it's going to match it. Um, I think I mentioned before I saw natural joy in her HD lace and that's why I got this, but yeah, look at that. I mean, you can't tell that this is, uh, that there's lace here, you know, unless you don't glue it down and you, you know, it comes up or something like that. But yeah, so, um, 
yeah I love this and I would highly recommend that if you're gonna spend some money on a human hair wig that you get one with HD lace because whether you've got dark skin brown skin light skin or white skin um, the HD lace really is the best way to go and it's not gonna cost a ton of money because this wig cost me like I think it was 145 it's 12 inches and like I said it's 180 percent intensity I got it from Wow Ebony and I like the hair this is actually Chinese virgin hair it's not Remy hair and so I did notice some shorter hairs at the top when I was using the curling iron but yeah I mean I still like it it's it doesn't feel as thick as I as the um, wig that I showed you last week the best lace wig but it is still nice and like I said the HD makes all the difference because you do not need baby hairs if you've got this HD lace so if you are interested in this wig I'm gonna put all the information down in the description section for you so that you know where to go to get it on Wow Ebony's website um, and all the specs on it I really like it I actually wish it was thicker I'm thinking if maybe it was a 250 or something it might be nicer or 200 I mean it's okay the way it is it actually looks longer without the curls after I washed it oh and I washed it with um, Nexus therapy and I used the Cantu leave-in conditioner you can buy it in the jar at um, the beauty supply store and I put that in after I washed it um, I don't think that made the curls come out of it really honestly but they actually did curl up like I said the problem was that they weren't tight like the picture that I showed you earlier that has the tight curls I don't know how they did that uh, maybe if I get some kind of a bedhead hardhead spray and maybe put that on the curls or I could probably put this hair in curling in, in curlers like at night and then maybe in the morning spray it with something hard like that the bedhead hard head and that might work but anyway at any rate that's what happened so I don't know my wigs all seem to start looking the same after a while but I do like this one and I especially like this HD lace because it is just like totally fabulous so you've got to go and get yourself some and with the prices being the way they are today because of the holidays you guys need to go and take advantage of that because really um, I don't know how much this one would have been had they not been having some kind of a Black Friday whatever sale and I get everything on the web so I don't know about you guys I know that some of you are, are um, really not into the internet and you really need to get on that because honestly you can get much better deals there especially for hair and things like that so yeah oh another product I used today was this this is um, it's a wig conditioning and lusterizer by some company called Demert I got this from Tyson in Charlotte Tyson is a beauty supply store um, this is called wig and we protect your investment blah 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 so some kind of um, um, moisturizer lusterizer is good to have for your wigs whether they're synthetic or human hair so I think that about covers it I think I'm gonna go downstairs and have a second helping of that macaroni and cheese now y'all know you eat Velveeta so don't even try so um oh I know what I was gonna tell you after the first of the year we are going to do something we did about six months ago we're gonna have a contest that contest that if you remember if you've been with me for a year or so that contest was to give away a gift certificate from African American wigs I have not been working with them lately because they are focusing on their brick and mortar store which is good I'm all behind Barbara and she's doing an excellent job if you have not checked out africanamericanwigs.net go to their website and they also have a brick and mortar store in Humble Texas anyway I have not been working with her for a while but when I did we had a contest to give away a gift certificate for a wig this time I am having my own contest and I'm going to be giving away wigs probably one maybe two so stay tuned for that after the first of the year we're gonna have a little contest you're gonna to have to work for it you know you have to do some things <laughs> before you get it but I'm giving away a couple of wigs and speaking of wigs you guys know that I have a website still looking good .bigcartel.com, and I sell wigs that I review on this channel human hair wigs and synthetic wigs I actually have a braided wig up there now that I got from Nigeria so you guys should go and check that out thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you have not subscribed please do so because we enjoy our company here if you have subscribed hit that notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much again you guys be safe out there and as I always say if you're gonna show love to anyone today ladies please show it to the creator I'm still looking good and of course so are you see you next time